So in 1990, the residential energy use in the U.S. was responsible for 962 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emission. By 2000, it had risen to 1182. If the emissions continue to grow exponentially, so presumably somebody's looked at the m data and decided that it appears to be exponential, uh, what would the what will the emissions grow to by 2050? And so we're going to go ahead and write an explicit model, right? Which means Pn equals 1 plus r to the n times p0. Uh, so first thing I need to do is define how I'm going to measure my n. So since this is our sort of base year, let's go ahead and call this n equals 0. This is 10 years later, so that'll be n equals 10. And so we've got the amount of emissions in, in, when n is 0, in other words in 1990, is 962 million metric tons. I'm going to leave off the million metric tons part, uh, and just remember that's my units. And 10 years later, p10, uh, it had gr grown to 1182. Now we aren't given the percentage growth rate here, and that means we're going to have to figure out what it is. But we already know p0, and we know a value for p10. And so we're going to use this with our model to, to figure out what r is. So we know that p10 is supposed to be 1 plus r to the 10 times p0, based on our explicit model. But we already know what p0 is. We already know that p0 is 962. Likewise, we already know what value p10 takes on. p10 is supposed to be 1182. And so that leaves us an equation where the only thing left to find is r. So now we can go ahead and use some algebra to solve this. So we'll go ahead and start by dividing both sides of the equation by 962, which gives us 1182 over 962 equals 1 plus r to the 10th power. And now we need to, to get rid of that 10th power, we're going to have to take the 10th root of both sides, okay? So altogether, that gives me the 10th root of 1182 over 962 equals 1 plus r, because the 10th root undoes the power of 10. Uh, and now I can subtract 1 from both sides. Uh, in order to get my r. So r is going to be the 10th root of 1182 over 962 minus 1, uh, after subtracting 1 from both sides. So now I need to calculate out what the heck this 10th root of 1182 over 962 is. Uh, and so uh, that means I'm going to need my calculator. So let me go grab my calculator. Now, unfortunately, my calculator does not have a 10th root button. Uh, and so in order to evaluate this, I'm going to need to pull, use some algebra trickery, which uh, reminds, if we using some algebra, I can remember that to find a 10th root, finding a 10th root is the same as finding a power of 1 10th, okay, using some, some good old, uh, rational exponent rules. And so now I can use my calculator and say, let's see here, I got 1182 divided by 962, and so that's 1.22869 here inside the parentheses, and now I'm going to raise that to the power of, now I need 1 tenth, and so I got to be careful because I need to make sure to tell the calculator to evaluate that first. So I'm going to use some parentheses in here and say parentheses 1 divided by 10, end my parentheses, that's 1 tenth, and now equals is going to go ahead and do the power. So that goes ahead and evaluates the power, and now I can subtract 1, and there is my value for r. So r is about, let's see, what is that, 0 0.0208. So we got r equals 0 0.0208, or in other words, about 2.08% uh, growth rate. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and make our prediction.
So making our prediction now, we're trying to predict the emissions in 2050. 2050 would be, okay, let's see, 1990 was n equals 0, 2000 was 10 years later. This is 50 years after that, so this would be n equals 60. So making our prediction for 60 years later, we've got 1 plus r. So we just calculated our value for r to the power of 60 times r p 0, which is 962. Okay, and so now we can go ahead and evaluate that. Uh, so I'm going to pull out my calculator again. So I've got 1 plus 0 0.0208, and now I need to make sure my calculator adds those before I raise this to a power. So I'm going to go ahead and hit equals to add them. Now I can raise this to the 60th power and multiply by 962. Now this answer would be a little bit different if I had not rounded off this r value, but for our purposes, this is going to be close enough. So we got 3308.4, so this is about 3308.4 what? Uh, what was our units on this? Million metric tons of CO2, of carbon dioxide emissions by the year 2050, if this exponential trend were to continue.